What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. If you've ever actually wanted to try out a live version of the Apple Watch UI, well, today is your, your day because now you can, courtesy of a new tweak called Watch Spring, and this is actually a springboard replacement for the, um, for the iPhone, and it brings the Apple Watch UI to the iPhone. And it works very much like the concept videos you've seen over the past few days, except the difference is this actually is live running on my device and it actually launches apps. So for instance, I can launch the uh, settings app just by tapping on it. I can launch any app that I have installed on my device, even Pongu, for instance, if I want to do that. Um, so, and I can of course pan around just by using a single um, drag gesture like this. And uh, this is pretty impressive. Now, granted, it doesn't work perfectly yet. Um, some of the pinch to zoom functionality isn't exactly a perfect or perfected right on the ball. Uh, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Uh, but it's still fairly uh, good in giving you a good indication of how uh, this user interface would perform uh, if this was brought to reality. Uh, so, of course, you can uh, tap anywhere while zoomed in on a, on a blink spot to zoom out like that. You can zoom in like that. And, of course, you can use gestures or pinch gestures uh, to kind of zoom in and out like that. Uh, so, overall, I'm fairly impressed with the uh, interface. I think, and this is just uh, me using it for a few few minutes there, that I could, I could kind of live with this. Like if Apple brought uh, something similar to the iPhone, it would be a nice change of pace, I would say. Um, still, there's a question about folders and app management and things like that. Uh, and obviously, this is a very rough um, you know, version of this UI, and Apple would no doubt polish it to a very high degree if they were to bring it to iOS. But um, as it stands, it's interesting. It's definitely a conversation piece, and it's something that if you want to check out, uh, you can do so right now. Uh, the package is available for download. Um, I'll have a link in the description where you can download this package. You'll actually have to use um, something like iFile, or you can use... Um, uh, open or not open. You can use SSH, drag the uh, file over to your iPhone, uh, transfer it over to your iPhone, and then use a simple uh, terminal command to install the package. And um, I'll show you how to do that as well. So uh, this is the Watch Spring user interface, folks. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Would you consider uh, using this, or uh, would you consider this to be a viable alternative to what we have now with the springboard? Uh, let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. I'm interested to hear what you have to say, and check out the post on iDownload blog to show you how to install WatchSpring. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.